Welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today I'm playing with more DreamWorks Trolls toys. My child is obsessed. In fact, he's watching it right now. This is the DreamWorks Trolls Paint Your Own Poppy Bank. So if you're in need for a piggy bank, look no further. Princess Poppy is here to rescue you. She's kind of tipped over in my packaging, but you can see she's pretty cute. And she's all white. She's a blank slate. So it comes with a little paint and a paintbrush so we can make our own poppy. Now I might not get to paint the whole thing with you guys today, but we can go ahead and get started. But first, we have to get it open. So why don't you guys come on in a little closer. We'll go ahead and open her and get started making our own bank Princess Poppy style. All right, so you guys get to be in on the action while we start to play with the DreamWorks Trolls Paint Your Own Poppy Bank. And I'm going to get her open here eventually when the tape decides to give. There we go. Oh no, more tape. Ugh. All right, I had to locate my trusty scissors because this is kind of durable tape and it was owning me bad. So, ooh, she's so cute. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of lift her from the box. Hopefully this will work. Ah! Ah! Okay, that's not working. Is it a package insert I can pull out? Oh my goodness. Maybe I should try opening her from the bottom. Okay, yes, this looks like it's gonna work out better. So we've got our paintbrush, our instructions, and the bottom of the piggy bank. And we've got all the little paints and glitter. And then Poppy is held in with a little screw unlock thing. So I'm gonna free her from her chains. Oh my goodness, this is really hard to do. It doesn't twist. Ugh. I'm like twisting with all of my might and it's not twisting. Yeah, this is a faulty one, I think. It's not working. Okay, pull her out of the box and maybe it'll help a little bit. You're giving me a run for my money already. It's just really stuck. Mm. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this at all. Let's see if I can pull it out. There we go. All right, so I got it. She's, she's out of the package now. Her hair is nice and fluffy and you can style it. It's got a little rubber band on it right now. But we need to get painting if we want her to look like Poppy at all.
So the included instructions give you a painting guide to do it exactly like the movie, or you can paint her any way you like. It says that if the paints are too thick, you can add a couple drops of water to thin it out and then they should be good. Oh no. My paint is all dried out. I can touch it and I don't get anything on my fingers. <gasps> oh no. I just got it too. It's not like it's been sitting around and I haven't got to play with it yet. It, I just got it. <gasps> They're all like that. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not going to get to paint Poppy at all. That's horrible. Well guys, I'm super sad because my Poppy isn't painted. The paints were all dried out in like paste glue and I could not save them to do this project. So I'm just stuck with a poor white with amazing hair, Princess Poppy. I think the concept behind this toy is great. I think that it would be a lot of fun and it's a great craft project that you can use as a piggy bank, but it's not so great when it comes directly from the store and it's already dried out. So maybe get some more durable paints, guys. Yikes. So my assessment on it is good, but not good for me this time. So guys, if you want to be here for more DreamWorks Trolls toys, surprise box openings, and all of the top 2017 trends, I'm staying on top of everything projected to be the biggest sellers, most uh, exciting new toys in 2017. So you have to make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out. And until next time, guys, make sure you check us out at toynotes.com where I have lots more reviews and bestseller lists. And we will see you soon.